Okay, so SIGGRAPH Asia is happening imminently. Uh, I think it might even be happening now. And um, yeah, obviously this is a, a, a show where developers from the world over come together to share their latest technological uh, uh, dis uh, techniques and um, research. Yeah, yeah. Basically, it's a bit of a show and tell yeah. thing. Um, Alex, you've seen an interesting thing from Intel. We haven't actually seen the presentation yet. But right. this looks really interesting, right? So basically, um, it's a presentation by, uh, forget it, oh, let me say this right. Oh, wait. Anton, he was hired by uh, a number of years ago, originally like Crytek Origins, and then moved on to NVIDIA. And then I believe now at Intel for a number of years, Anton Kapan Jan. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I might have said that incorrectly, and I'm sorry, Anton. Um, but basically, this is a presentation. Anton worked on XESS originally and was like one of the people that was really big name there working on XESS. And this is a presentation covering, and I quote, Extra SS, which is an amalgamation of XESS plus extrapolated frame. And with DLSS and FSR 2, now 3, the way they've moved into the frame generation territory is by interpolating frames. So you hold a frame, and then you've got the subsequent one, and you're generating the frame in the middle. And here, whatever they're calling now extra SS, and they're trying, I think they are trying to do something different here, which is why it's interesting, is they're going to be extrapolating future aspects of a frame of a future frame. So it wouldn't be holding a frame in the traditional way it's done with interpolation. John talked about this in regards to, was it Oculus? They use an extrapolation technique to do the things for their headsets, right, John? Was it you telling me telling me that? Uh, I think so. I believe so. Maybe I'm I think maybe I'm just Surely it wouldn't, no, no. it wouldn't work Matt, if it's holding a frame on VR. The, the latency would be... No, you're right. But yes, me, the the Quest head headsets do have. Both. I forget. So maybe it's called Obviously Future Warp or something. I don't know. Space Warp. Space Warp. Uh, Asynchronous Space Warp is what they've been doing. Yes. Um. I'm presuming this is going to hold a similarity to it. Uh, the thing is, we don't actually have any good info here on exactly what it is, other than that we know it's a combination of their spatial temporal upscaling technique and an extrapolation in extrapolation technique to generate a new frame and the little preview image they have there shows like the frame one and then the 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 subsequent three frames which are using extrapolate subsequent two frames which are extrapolation or at least one frame extrapolated and then the, the subsequent frame uh so it is pretty interesting to see and i like this a lot because it's actually um a different area of research completely like i think frame interpolation uh is an interesting future but having someone going in a different direction and maybe which produces subjectively different results which are still which are still good uh is just a diversity in the market for gpu manufacturers that we really need and it's not just everyone just towing the line like yeah nvidia came out with dlss3 frame gen and we kind of saw amd towing the line and here intel is who is a new player in the market is saying like okay we're going to bring out frame gen but it's also going to work on like a different level and this is really exciting intel hasn't even announced anything about this yet this is just like a siggraph talk where they're going to announce it and show it off and talk about how it works and it's also based upon their work in neural networks so it's going to be like how dlss3 frame gen uses neural networks uh to get the quality of that result higher it's going to be the same here so exciting times ahead i'm very curious when and how they'll announce it to the gaming focused public because right now at SIGGRAPH, this is definitely not the gaming-focused public. So very interesting, to say the least. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really interesting. I'm just going through the uh, description that they've posted on the SIGGRAPH website. Mm -hmm. It's kind of enigmatic. It's hard to parse that description. Yes. But they say extrapolating uh, a frame, I believe. Yeah, frame extrapolation is a direct quote from yeah. there. Evaluation uh, computation, computational costs are significantly reduced compared to traditional rendering methods, enabling higher frame rates and alias free high resolution results. Okay, fair enough. Evaluation using Unreal Engine demonstrates the benefits of our framework over conventional individual spatial or temporal super sampling right. methods, delivering improved rendering speed and visual quality. With its ability to generate temporally stable high quality results, our framework creates 
new possibilities for real-time rendering applications and <laughs> advancing the boundaries of performance and photorealistic rendering right. in various domains, which you could apply just to standard Frame gen. upscaling, right? So yes, it's, that too. It's just a it's just a, a sort of almost like placeholder text. Yeah, they need. don't want to give out too much, I think, right there. That's the thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm looking at this. It, the, the time of the presentation is, uh, it looks like it's actually happened. Friday, the 15th of December, 9.40 a.m. Asian uh, time. Sydney. Yeah. Yeah, Sydney. They're, they're sort of like uh, uh, 10, 12 hours ahead. So interesting. Someone knows I guess maybe yeah. maybe we'll be able to talk about it next week. Yeah, I hope so. Um, and, you know, the interesting thing is we've been talking with uh, Tom Peterson f- uh, for a while now at Intel. Yeah. And- yeah, that's interesting, right? Because... We talked with him. We've got him on the record talking about frame generation. And then like literally like one right. or two months later, DLSS 3 <laughs> dropped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> but I think it's it's important to realize that this isn't like an NVIDIA thing that people, you know, that they've led with that everybody's copying. It's, it's a direction of travel that or every major player in the graphics business has been looking into for quite some time. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's the way it is. Yeah. And uh, like Tap talked about it back then, I was assuming it would be interpolation, but if, since it is based on extrapolation, uh, it's going to be really see. Maybe the other uh, like companies will then respond to it uh, with either differences to DLSS or changes to DLSS or alternative DLSS versions. We'll see. This is exciting. 